everybody welcome back to Rocky Mountain Homestead my name is Angela if you're new I am so glad you guys are here and in this video today there's gonna be viewer discretion advice there's gonna be some raw close-up footage here of our goat giving birth so to kind of sum this all up we have two goats Laverne and Shirley that we got last year and they were a little too young to breed this past winter so we decided that we do want to raise Nigerian dwarf goats long term. We do want a smaller herd, but we wanted to grow our herd from just the two that we had. And given the fact that I haven't bred them yet, I personally wanted to go through a, my cat is freaking out. I'm sorry. <laughs> we, I personally wanted to go through the goat birth experience to kind of know what to expect, to know how much assistance I actually need to give. Because of course I've heard contradicting things as far as get involved in the birth, don't get involved in the birth. You don't really know until you're in that moment yourself and in that experience. So I really wanted that experience and we wanted to grow our herd. So we invested and we bought two pregnant Nigerian dwarf goat moms. No clue how many babies were inside of them. Honestly, no clue when exactly they were going to be due. So with that being said, the, the week that we actually got them, our weather went south pretty quickly. And the weather here in Colorado is very unpredictable, especially up here in the Rocky Mountains. So we had snow, a good amount of snow. We had really, really cold temps. And we had really high winds, up to 75, 80 mile per hour winds, which were pretty constant. So the wind chill temperatures were not ideal. And we didn't want are these goats giving birth out in the elements. So you're gonna see part of this channel, our trial and errors and the mistakes that we make along the way. This is all new to us, we're growing our homestead. So I definitely appreciate any comments that you guys have that are positive and helpful, <laughs> but don't judge us because we're kind of learning as we do this and we're just taking you guys along for the ride. So you're gonna see our trials and errors like setting up a temporary birthing station in our garage and putting the straw down and getting the kennels and everything set up and the goats inside and then realizing uh, as they're given birth, oh, we forgot to put a tarp down on our concrete floor of our garage. Yes, yes, <laughs> there's lots of trials and errors. But anyway, I'm going to take you guys along, share this footage. It was a very easy way to expand our, our herd of goats and also get to experience our goat birth. Um, and what exactly that's going to look like. And I was really shocked to see how many babies this mama actually had. So sit back and if you guys have never really got to experience or see a goat birth, the beginning of it is from the outside of the kennel. So you can see, but not really, really close up on my phone. I actually got some video footage for some family and friends. So you'll see me recording real quick before I start assisting. But about halfway through, you'll get a very clear image of our goat giving birth with no bars in the way whatsoever. And uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm going to let it roll. Okay, so right here I'm actually checking her. She had been laying down for a while, and uh, yeah, she is getting really close to getting ready to deliver her first baby. So I was just yelling to my husband who was working outside and just playing the waiting game, waiting for the first baby to be born.
So baby number one has been born and the mama was just laying there. So she didn't look like she was having any interest to get up to clean her baby. And I just kind of started clearing the face a little bit before getting her to her mom. So I was clear on the airways of baby number one, baby number two is born. And at this point, I didn't know what I actually should be doing because a lot of videos I've watched in the past, the mama is up standing and turning to her babies after delivery. And this mama was I'm just kind of laying mama. there. Maybe I get them to her face so she can clean them. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh you're so Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. I'm going to bring them to her mic. Okay. Come on. Come see your babies. You're supposed to see your babies. Go clean them up. You know Good girl, do. Mama. Good you girl. You're not crying, do you? you know what to do. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, okay. Okay. Open. The ah. I am literally laughing while editing this video. Can you say ah? Yeah. It's a baby goat that was born like maybe a minute ago, <laughs> you can tell I've been around too many human babies and not enough animal babies. <laughs> It was so cute to see something that was literally just born already trying to stand up and use its legs. Garden nursing. Yep. Yes. Good job, Mama. Good job. Yeah, we want girls. I think there's more, though. I think there's more. I'm going to give it time. Whatever they have. Okay. Check their umbilical cord. Don't go ahead and get her in the tunnel. Her hand. Can I see? Let me see what you are. Can I see what you are? You can Ooh. just peek. Oh, Ooh, look at that. Oh, oh, are you a, oh no, are you a buckling? No, that's a belt recorder. I gotta sanitize that. I gotta get that beta done and get their good girl mama, good girl, good girl. It's gonna be so hard not to want to keep one of these. Let me see what you Does she have like extra bags in her? I don't know. Like, I gotta check. I don't know. I don't know any of this. Um, you're a boy. 
at this point, I was just checking the sexes of the babies. And I gotta say, I ended up having to Google search this because I didn't know how exactly to check. It was not easy, but you need to look under the tail. So that's what I ended up doing to find out. And I was using some terminology that was probably not YouTube appropriate during this point. So I figured a voiceover would be best. You got it. You got it, girl. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I know, Mama. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, so this baby was basically just hanging out in its sack and the mom was busy cleaning off the other babies. So I didn't know what to do and decided I probably need to break the amniotic sack to get this baby out. And I'm glad I did because this baby appeared pretty weak compared to the other ones. Okay. That's right. Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh my God. Get up. Get up. Get up. There you go. There you go. Go to your mama. Go to your mama. Go, go. It's good. Totally. No, it's on its nose still. Yeah. How about mucus? Get it off your baby. Get it off your baby. Okay. Okay. Uh, yep, I gotta get in there. Are you the auntie? Okay, open. Oh, I'm covered in birthing guts. I'm covered. Someone's biting my butt. Are you biting my butt? Okay, open, 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 open. Open. Okay. You got another one, I think. Yep. So at this point, we definitely realized that there was a fourth baby inside of her. And I was really just trying to work on this third baby because it just had so much mucus in its airways. And he kept trying to shake his head and clear it out, but he was still really gurgly. So before this next baby was born, I just wanted to really make sure that I had the airways cleared on this little guy. <laughs> You go see your mama. You go see your mommy, okay? Here you go. Come on. She's got to cough that stuff up. She's not coughing it up. Clean your baby, okay? There you go. <laughs> You're a lot. You're wagging his tail. Oh, I just put my hand all over myself. That's my <laughs> I didn't know if I would have to break the amniotic sac, but I saw that she was in no hurry to get up and do it. So I just decided maybe this is something that I need to help and assist her with. Okay, okay, okay. 
you go. Here you go. Okay, look at you. Look at you. And so this part right here, I wasn't really sure what to do, but after looking it up, like a lot of mammals, goats actually eat their placenta, which is absolutely disturbing to watch in my opinion, but it's believed to help improve their milk production and it may even provide much needed iron for them. So yeah, I... I just kind of left it there for her to do whatever she felt she needed to do with, but uh, yeah, that is what's happening here. So I've got to say goat babies are absolutely adorable and it was just so cute them coming up and jumping on me and wagging their little tails. It was so cute and we couldn't even believe it but she had four boys. I texted the guy that we got the two pregnant moms from shortly after this and told him and he was absolutely shocked that she had four babies let alone four baby boys in her. So it was really cute just watching them try and stand on their little legs and oh my gosh, it was it's just amazing how something could be born and just immediately get up on their legs and try to walk, but mama is sitting here cleaning off her baby. So other than that, she's doing what she's supposed to be doing now. She is up and standing and her babies are trying to stand and nurse on her too. So
All right, you guys. Well, thanks for sticking around if you stuck around this long. And I hope this video is everything that you thought it would be. It was a really good first experience for me. And I'm glad everything went smooth and all four babies are healthy. At this time, two of the boys went and were sold as bottle babies a couple days later. And mom is producing enough milk for the two bucklings that are left. We're going to keep one and turn him into a weather. And the other one is still for sale. So anyway, thanks for hanging around. And I will see you on the next video. Until then, take care and God bless. So good a day as any to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many, and the old ones gone under.